Everywhere in the Bible, we read that God is love. God is not only love, is full of compassion for people. When you study the Bible, we understand that God loves us with an everlasting love. John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. The question now is, if God loves us so much, why is bad things happening to good people? Especially the ones that everybody knows that God loved them. Why is God permitting some bad things to happen suddenly to those people who think that God loves them? This is what God put in my heart and in my mouth to, to share with you this morning. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. As usual, the God of the heavens and the earth, the God of all flesh, your Father, my Father, have sent me to you this morning again with a word to encourage you, to inspire you, to motivate you, and to help you and to bless you. And this morning my prayer is that God will give you illumination to understand the things that God is speaking to the churches today. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. You see, God is full of love. There is no doubt about it. But you see, one thing we must understand about planet Earth is that when God created planet Earth in Genesis chapter 1, we understand that God put everything underneath the control of man. But you see, due to man's disobedience, something happened. Man lost that dominion to the devil. The devil began to rule. When you look at that chapter 3, where Cain and Abel, I mean, chapter 4, where Cain and Abel went to present their offering to God. The sacrifice and offering of Abel, the junior brother, was acceptable to God. But that of Cain, the senior brother, was not acceptable to God. And so, you know, Cain was wrought, meaning he was angry. Probably was angry with God, and he was also angry with his brother. And so, it was so clear that God loved Abel. And God also loved Cain, but because Cain was reprimanded, Cain was, you know, kind of scolded. He was corrected. He was told to do things right. And his brother was commended that he did it right. And so Cain was angry and Cain killed his brother. Now why did God allow Cain to kill Abel, his brother? Why did God not just appear one way or the other to defend Abel? Why was God looking on and watching Cain to kill Abel? Why did it happen? Does it mean that God didn't know that Cain was planning the death of Abel while he was planning that dastardly act? Why did God not stop Cain from killing Abel? Do you know what could have happened to Abel if Abel was not killed, a man, a young man like that? who loved the Lord, who gave the best to God. His destiny could have been very bright. His destiny, maybe his name could have been spoken of as we speak of the name of Abraham. Maybe his name could have been spoken of as we speak about the name of Enoch, who did not die, but you see, God took him bodily out of the earth. But his destiny was truncated by his brother Cain. And God looked on and God allowed it. Why? Now let me tell you from my own understanding of the word of God. Now God have handed over the affairs of the earth to man. And what you do, you're going to reap whatsoever you sow. Every act that we 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 act on this in this world we are sowing seeds and we shall surely reap the reward if somebody kill his brother god is not going to argue with you or you, somebody is trying to destroy his brother or you don't show love god is looking and that does not mean that god does not care 
God cares. But you see, because the affair of this world is left in your hand, your destiny is in your hand. You do what you want to do, but everything you do have a very severe consequence. There are severe consequences for our actions. And one thing that God allowed it for Cain to kill Abel, his brother, is because God knows that death is not the end of man. God knows that even if Abel was killed by Cain, Abel was still living. Abel was not going to get out of extinction. He was not going to be forgotten. His spirit lives on. And so God knew that even though Abel, you know, leave this world untimely, he was still going to continue to live and he was going to even enjoy better where Abel was going. And so God allowed it because God knew the better. God knows that everything worked together for good for those that love God, even to them that are called according to his purpose. Even to us, we might mourn the death of Abel, thinking that Abel's life was gone. But God knew that Abel's life is just beginning. Abel's life is just beginning in the bosom of God to enjoy the real life. You see, that is why God permitted it. And another thing you have to understand is that in this life, God knows that man, you see, man's inhumanity to man is is a detriment to the man who is unfaithful. The man who is wicked and doing wicked acts to other men is hurting himself more than those people that is hurting. If you hurt your brother, you hurt your sister, you are doing something bad to them, you are pulling them down, you are doing bad things against them. See, God knows that you are hurting more than those ones you are hurting. You are destroying yourself when you embark on a journey of destruction against your brother or sister. You are killing yourself when you are killing your brother. You are destroying yourself when you are destroying your sister. See, God knows that. And that is why God is looking on. When you destroy them and they don't fight back. And that is why Jesus commanded us. He said, when they slap you, don't slap back. We are not of them that fight back. We are not of them that fight back. He said, if they slap your right, turn the left. If they take your cloak Give them your shirt. If they command you and force you to run one mile, run with them two miles. Don't resist evil. God knows that when you don't resist, when you allow them to cheat you, God knows that they are cheating themselves. This is the mystery of the love of God. God knows that when they pull you down, they are doing themselves. When they destroy you, they are destroying themselves. And because God loves you, God knows how to take care of you. And so what is the message this morning? God loves you. No matter what you are going through, no matter what they have done for you, no matter how badly they have hurt you, no matter how badly they have pulled you down, no matter how badly they have destroyed you, God has not forgotten you. God has not forsaken you. God still loves you. God still cares for you. The love of God for you has not ended. In fact, the truth is that the love of God for you is more and more every day. I love this song, and with it I conclude. The steadfast love of a God never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. The steadfast love of God does not cease. 
His faithfulness does not come to an end. His mercies, His love, His compassion, they are new every morning. God still loves you, despite what they did for you, despite how badly they hurt you. God still loves you, despite what you are going through. God still loves you. Why don't you respond and submit to the love of God? This is where I'm going to stop. Submit and respond to the love of God. The love of God will do you good. Thank you for listening. You are able to hear this because of the partners of I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. God bless our partners wherever they are in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you once again. Please rebroadcast this to somebody. Get somebody blessed. I know that God will bless you for, you know, rebroadcasting it. Thank you so much. If you have been enjoying these messages and you consider wanting to sow a seed or being a partner with me, please just WhatsApp the number that this number plus two seven seven four zero three zero two three eight one. WhatsApp that number. Tell me you want to sow a seed or you want to be a partner. God will bless you for doing any of those in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you got this by a rebroadcast, you want this message directly from me every day, WhatsApp that number with this simple message, add me. And from tomorrow, you will begin to receive messages from me. If you got this on any of our social media or any of our website or any of our podcasts, either Spotify, anything, just follow us so that next messages that are released, you will be the first. You'll be among the first people to listen to it. Thank you so much. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. Thank you so much. This is your brother, your friend, your pastor, Joseph Adenuga, signing out this morning and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.